Simple and clean, welcome to the stream. Hey guys, welcome back. So what I originally had planned was for a real life deck profile of my achievement of topping. However, it turns out with my phone, it didn't go so well because it's too high up to date. And the, I forgot what it's called. It's called like an um, HVAC or something in the, in my computer and i need to buy in like another plugin for it to allow the videos to be even like rendered correctly so we're gonna do it on sim uh sucks but you know what it's a good platform to use and it's helpful getting right into it i did as you guys can notice i did a lot of changes to it um i added three sanji's in it i feel like sanji's really strong um it helps with the rebecca matchup it helps with the croc matchup a little bit yellow two at some times just getting that extra jaw and having a 7k swing is really nice um we're running two brooks instead of the usual four that people are doing um i'm only running two because in most cases i haven't really needed him and uh most of the time you know red red law usually does the job like in like quicker rather than having to wait a turn because there's just so much clear now um we're running four zoro you gotta run four four gordon uh, we're still running our film package um everything is still searchable searches our our law our beppo uh i'm gordon so that's still really strong we going with four queens um you need to draw um obviously there's going to be better options in the in the future uh for set five for example but for now four queens is how we're doing it um we're running the normal staples for sachi penguin for law and for beppo um this time i'm actually running two round table and i'm running a radical beam and a guard point I'm running two uh, round table for um the bigger matchups uh such as purple red luffy for katakuri um blue to an extent because they have some pretty big units too such as dofi or seven cost dofi mihawk um, Kaido, if they run it, um, one of the past Fisas, and I just don't have enough, to, or I don't have a Gordon in hand to deal with it. it takes care of blockers, too. Uh, Black Luffy, the uh, 7k base, yeah. <laughs> really good. So, my matchups were... It was two... Yes, yeah, two red-purple Luffys. A cr blue Crocodile. And I think a Rebecca, actually. It's been a while, but yeah, I think I think that's that's what my lineup. Oh no, sorry, it was a red green law. <laughs> it was a red green law. So we faced two red purple loopies, one red green law, and one blue uh, croc. Um, so going against red purple loopy, my first round, it was a little rough. He can't. He found all four of his useless kids, but I found all my round tables and just enough counter to actually, or just enough cards to reduce them. So I was able to bottom deck three of the uses kids, but I couldn't get rid of the fourth one. But by then the game was already over and I swung for game. Uh, I bluffed the hand, like it's a purple deck. They're gonna have bricks in their hand. That's kind of just a normal thing uh, with purple now, or it's been like that with purple. So kind of just treat it like black. It's like, oh, if they have three cards in their hand, it's like lethal time. Just, it's not three 2Ks, trust. <laughs> Most of the time it's not three 2Ks, but it, it does happen. Um. So yeah, I kind of just built up a board, just kind of just kept poking at them six, 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 six every, <laughs> every, uh, every, every turn. So sometimes I would kind of just like burn my dawn to call a unit out just to have a unit. Um, I usually only did that if I had Sachi and Penguin and or Beppo. Um, you mainly want to do it with these guys, but if you do have a Beppo, that's nice too because he still ramps you dawn even after you do it. This is just on play. This is on play and when attacking, so that's really nice. Um, yeah, you just want to over uh, overwhelm them. Uh, when it came to Red Green Law, my second round, <laughs> um, it's kind of like a problem that I've expressed to many of my my friends and some of the other top players. Like, yes, Red Green Law is really good, but it bricks. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how lucky you are. There are going to be times where you don't see any of your searchers. You brick and you can't play the game. And you know, it's kind of it kind of sucks that you know someone's skill level gets defined if how they draw or not. 
because in my honest opinion i've been playing red green lost in set one there is skill to it but like by far like if you draw if you high roll you fucking win you win any matchup it doesn't matter you win any matchup but if you draw like garbage you're like a tier three deck and you're just like hoping to top deck into something that will like bail you out which does not happen often like at all like we call them law hands where you get like what like two three pages a nami and a dot or a nami and like like a restand law or something you'll get like one searcher but everything else is just like garbage and you can't do anything with that some games you just don't see your blocker law at all and it's all stacked at the bottom like at the beginning of the game and you can't search it and it's like well you tried your best you're you're like a top 20 player in the world but you tried your best you got outplayed you got outplayed by your own draw you law loses to itself that's why like big heads like even cross ai said he was like man he loves law but like the deck loses to itself and if you don't draw well it's a really bad time but i digress um so yeah i won because he break and you didn't see anything i also had the nuts i had i had my sashi and penguins when i needed them i had my lot my blocker laws which ripped even which ripped his uh searcher cards actually i ripped a bonnie and a whitey bay or something with this card and i i just like steamrolled after that because after that it was just nothing but like mini blockers a restand law to restand like the zoro i think but like i said no searchers I think he came across one Ezo, but it bricked. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, I was like, I was telling him because he's my boy. And I was like, see, this is why I don't feel like playing Red Green Law like at this point or a little bit anymore. Because Red Purple Law exists, first of all. Second, I don't want to lose. And it's not my fault that I lost. It's the deck's fault that I lost. <laughs> but whatever. It happens. Um, like I said, Red Green Law shit. Um third round uh it was another red purple uh loopy um this one was my training partner uh i was practicing the red purple loopy matchup uh shout out to my boy matt he he was very familiar with the how the deck works and plays he wasn't like reading all the cards obviously i know like the deck is still new so some people don't know exactly what um like the new purple stuff does um, but yeah, I know he had it on lockdown. He had tech cards. He was running Vista to get rid of my Gordons, like my pre, my pre-played Gordons and whatnot. I was like, man, this sucks. <laughs> but um, it came down to the wire. Um, he saw uh, some pretty good cards, but it came down to the wire, and he was one K short, and I got it. At this point, I'm undefeated, 3-0. Get to the finals. It's me and another close friend of mine, uh, Sean. He's playing blue croc everything was going fine um that matchup's kind of it, it's funny because i feel like the matchup is in red purple lost favor but it was rough he i mean he did see his um Sento maru but i was able to bomb deck it immediately so i didn't have any of the pacifista pressure on me however he did he he got insane triggers <laughs> the whole game or actually most of the game i was doing pretty fine last two life and it was what was it it was a red rock it was a red rock so he bottom decked one of my attackers that actually uh won him the game because that would have been the deciding factor to swing with and then i think the last one was like a 2k and then um there was like one last final turn i'm like tapped out of dawn i have like such like i have like no dawn left and i bottom deck his blocker call another card out just because i know it's like game after this um swing five swing five and then i swing eight and he's like 2k 2k and that was his whole hand um and so his turn he top decks a 3k world bottom decks my block a lot that i played and then just swings for a game with his mihawk and i was like dude like the it, it was so close and then i lost the and then i went 3-1 tournament was over lost the finals and then because of how pairings work instead of getting second place i got uh what was it fourth or fifth place i was like geez man like the the down pairing is insane <laughs> but it was all in all good he, he he played his heart out um i respect him as a player we were just like laughing giggling about like top decks and whatnot that game but yeah, so, but usually Croc isn't that bad of a, a matchup for this deck. 
it's it's really nice actually because this gets rid of their hand you kind of out tempo them on the board they have to spend a lot to get rid of your cards when especially if you see a queen or something to draw you extra cards or sanji to draw you extra cards it's it's really nice it helps out a lot sanji is like a, a key player in this deck alongside queen he's underrated but yeah this is the list that i use to get my topping list there we go to get my topping list um yeah i feel like this is my optimized definitive edition of the deck um for this set obviously it's going to change in like a week um let me know if you guys want to see my my full like set deck for set five i have a set five red for law deck that i've um, been optimizing over the times and it's at a position and it's at a spot to where i can confidently beat every deck as long as i play my cards well and if i draw right but that's the thing like the deck doesn't feel like if i have to draw necessarily right for it because you can still you can always use your ability and like call something out that's what i do like about red purple law in comparison to red green red green you, you need to have a, a, a board of like a bunch of bodies and with sakazuki running around using uh fucking luchi using rob luchi just like wipe your board every turn and like in uh hound blaze is like it's, it's just too much it's too much clear um and it's not really fun to play because like everything's insane like anel even has ways of clearing now um where is it Gadat, um Z uh rona Zoro, if they're running it they should be running it it's a crazy card t-bolt a, a billion <laughs> a billion volts like there's there's just so many ways to or yeah and yamato too but that's like late game but there's just too many ways to clear in this game and for a game that has like super hard control cards now and it's more so mid late game like it feels it feels kind of like chulk holdy for red green law like obviously if you high roll you can you can you can probably scrape by and win still but like it's a it's an uphill battle because I, I obviously i've been trying it out i've been playing like red green law still to see if it's still got the juice in it but like <sighs> why do that if i can just do that but not have to worry about having an entire board you know i feel like the only thing that red green law has right now is just the large amount of um resource gain and management that it has um but of course, like, well, when it hits set five and Nami and Dodon get released from jail, <laughs> uh, laws are gonna be coming back um, and do their their whole infinites and whatnot. But I feel like once we get the next set and we get our our purple searcher, like it's the same thing now. So then you get like a, a 5k swing that searches for you for free just because you have less dawn and it's gonna hit most of the time because most of your decks are gonna be heart pirates anyway so it's just like mm, i'd rather have <coughs> the ability to <coughs> build a board and clear at the same time rather than just like build a board and hope not to break and then maybe play the game because like i said red green law is too high really and you know it's, it's it's not fun when you break like i i've seen people's faces i've seen like the top players even nikki and it's like dude like you, like you, you don't see any of your searches and you're just taking life and life and life and top decking and top decking and not seeing anything it's like it does not feel good to play at all <laughs> but you know what red green law broken best deck in the format you know those are the people who don't play it but you law players you know what you know how it feels it feels great when you see your yunami and buying your first hand but if you see like two blockers you're just like oh what am i supposed to do with this hand anyways i'm gonna stop rambling um this is the list um hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like in the comments or leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one